The thing that I believe that a man really, really feels in his life the most is frustration around women. And particularly the frustration that he feels when a woman is walking towards him and he wants to talk to her, but he doesn't know how, or he feel like there's a block. And the great thing about this is, is that it can turn to help you. That frustration can turn in a certain way that can leverage you into talking to her. But where does the frustration come from? What does that feeling come from when you see a woman, she's coming towards you, or you see a woman at a distance, or sitting down with friends, and you wanna go speak to her, but you feel, fuck, I, I just, I can't do it, what is this? I don't know why I just feel so pent up. I don't know why I feel so blocked. And feeling blocked when you walk up is what every man is feeling. It's what I used to feel. I used to look at women in situations like, fuck, that's too hard to go into. That situation right there, I don't want to do that because that's scary. Fuck, this girl's so beautiful that if I try to stop her, maybe that's not the right way. Maybe I need to be a little bit more confident before I do it. Always psyching myself out of something. Never into something, but out of something. And that led me to where you probably are right now, having no results. From this position of no results, I feel frustrated. I feel that I want to do something, something should be happening, but nothing is happening. And this, I feel like something should be happening, is something that I used to care around a lot. I used to see girls who are really, really beautiful and think to myself, how do I get that girl? I used to feel on the inside, fuck, I want to speak to her, but I feel that there's something inside of me that just won't let me do it. I want to do it at the deepest level, I do. Much like you feel. You want to do it at the deepest level, but you just can't wrap your mind around what is stopping me. And I couldn't either. In every situation that I would see, I would rationalize not going to do it. Oh, she's in a rush. She wouldn't be into a guy like me. I need to be a little bit more confident. Maybe I would take a step in that direction and be like, I already fucked it up because I didn't, I'm not gonna do the stop right. Just so many excuses leading me to no results or the results that I didn't want. When it comes to approaching women, you have to understand that the frustration that you feel is because you feel like you should be doing it. That is why. Always remember this. When there is should, frustration immediate follow, immediately follows. I should have talked to her. I should have approached her. I should have went for that kiss. I should have is the route to frustration. And every single time we take this route of I should have did that, but I'm not going to do it. You know what? I feel like I should be doing that, but man, I'm, I'm not going to do it because I'm scared or I'm too nervous to do this. It leads us to, in this, to this position where we feel like I just want this to end. I want this this track of me not getting the women in my life, I just want it to end. I want to extract myself from the pain that I feel right now. And I want to get women, but at the same time, I'm scared, man. How did you think I felt? How did you think I feel? I felt about talking to women and not doing the things I should have done. Looking at certain women coming towards me, which is the thing that used to scare me the most, a woman coming towards me feeling the, the thing rise up inside of me and then letting her pass and not doing anything. Being afraid to actually look at the woman because I'm afraid that she will think that I'm checking her out and that's what every other guy is doing. Just being afraid of showing, just being afraid of everything which led to no results and guess what? It led to frustration. Because I knew that I should have done something. I know there's a part of me that's being pulled to this situation, but there's another part of me that's being pulled backwards. And this tug of war inside of me, I'm trying to figure out, okay, what is this coming from? And then I start to look at, this frustration is really coming from this should. But why do I think I should do that? I think I should do that because 
I know that this, that's in alignment with what I want. That's why I feel this shit. I feel this intense feeling of fuck. I didn't do it. Oh man, I'm just. Why didn't I do it again? I just get frustrated. I feel all that because I know that's that is what I really want. And every single time I don't go for what I really want, I let myself down. That's what I started to feel like. It, it's not just a thing of I should go talk to this girl. It's talking to that girl's in alignment with what I want, and that's finding love. That's finding women who I like and who like me. That's what it was for me. I started to break it down like I am just out of alignment and that's frustrating the fuck out of me. I want to talk to this girl, but at the same time I feel a block and every time I let that block stop me, I feel like I'm letting myself down in some way. And that's why you guys are in this video now. If you're someone who's wanting to talk to women but you feel, fuck, something is holding me back, you feel the same thing. You feel this thing of, that's, that is what I know I want, but at the same time I just can't seem to get myself there. And I know that every single time I let the fear stop me, I feel like I've been let, I'm letting myself down. And I was in this position for a very long time. And maybe you guys have been in this position for a very long time, but I'm here to tell you that frustration can either do two things for you. It can send you into a more negative direction, or you can flip it on its head and turn it into something that can work for you. What most guys do, and what I did, was I let it just work against me. I let it take me in a more negative direction. I allow myself to build beliefs around, oh, she's like this. And their, their protection, actually, actually, their protection mechanisms, oh, maybe she is a girl that's superficial. Maybe she's a girl that wouldn't go for a guy like me. You know, I know what type of guys that girl goes for, and I'm not that type of guy. I'll find the girl who I feel goes for a guy like me. Just these rationalizations, these protection mechanisms that we build to keep us safe from doing the thing that we know we need to do. And spending so much time in that zone of, I feel frustrated, and letting frustration turn into not feeling good enough. Feeling that, being there so long in that, I started to extract from that something that's very powerful. Is that whatever I'm frustrated by is the thing that I need to wake up from in myself. I need to wake up to whatever it is that I'm frustrated by. I'm frustrated not by the fact of the woman being something and she should be something else. I'm frustrated by the fact of me not being able to follow through with that which I want to. That's what I'm frustrated by. I used to always think it's everything outside of myself. I'm frustrated that women like that can't just be available. I'm frustrated that it's just hard for women like that to see a guy like me as valuable. Just always outside of myself. But I went, what can I can control? What can I control? I can control how I feel about this. I'm going to let this frustration wake me up instead of put me to sleep. Because most people and most guys are letting frustration put them to sleep. And you wouldn't end up in this video if you in some way didn't feel that frustration can wake you up. It really can. It woke me up to the sense of what can I control that I feel is outside of my control. Because frustration is, is, I feel like I should be doing something and I'm not doing it. And the fact that I'm not doing it, I feel bad about it. I feel like I'm letting myself down. So I need to go to the root thing. What is not letting myself down? It's not talking to the girl. Of course, that's an extension of something. But not letting myself down is being able to focus on what do I want to express when I see that woman. It's a turn of events, isn't it, for you guys? Because you're like, oh, I thought Tony was going to say something else. No. It's because you have blocked expression. That's really what it is. When a man wants to talk to a girl and she's coming toward him, he wants to express something. And as she's coming, he feels like, ah, oh, fuck, man, I just, I couldn't do it. It was hard. Fuck. Shuck, I should have I should have approached her. And then the next girl. I should have approached her. She's so hot. 
and you just feel blocked all the time. You're blocked because you want to express something to that woman. That's why. So it's much deeper than just approaching the woman. It's being able to look at what do I want to express and what, why am I stopping myself from doing that? I am stopping myself from expressing something and that's frustrating the fuck out of me. That's what you want to get to. Maybe the thing that you're frustrated that you want to express is your desire for wanting to tell her that you like her. Maybe you're frustrated around the fact that you've never been able to say to girls like that that they're beautiful. Maybe you're just frustrated at the fact or you want to express just something to that woman and feel totally connected to her. And you're frustrated that you don't have the connection you want in your life. And every single time you see that woman, she reflects the thing that you are hating that you can't express. There's something about Budapest and those alarms. There's just every single, almost every video I've done has just been almost a fucking alarm in it. But you want to find out what is the expression that you currently are afraid of being able to show. And it's crazy that the more and more that I'm going out and talking to women, the more and more I start to see the truth of what's happening. If you look at my videos from the beginning to now, it's just that I'm starting to see the truth so much because I'm starting to see that, fuck, student to student, they're not afraid of approaching women, they're afraid of the expression that they want to show the woman. They're afraid of expressing something. That's what they're afraid of. They're not afraid to go up to the woman and saying hello. They're not afraid of that. They're afraid of that thing that's on the inside of them going, fuck, you look sexy. They're afraid of saying that because that to them means something to them. It means that I'm really being vulnerable and I don't want to do that. So the expression that you feel that you want to show to the woman right now in this moment and you're not doing is the very thing that you need to locate, the very thing you need to focus on. Put your focus on the expression you, wanna, you want to do when you see that woman. Put your focus on it. As you feel that, as you feel that feeling coming up, it wants to go somewhere. It doesn't want to stay on the inside. But guess what? When it comes up and then you block it by not expressing it, it becomes suppressed. And that suppression turns into frustration. And when you feel the frustration, it goes into a more negative direction. So the frustration that you feel can now start to help you. Allow it to start to give you direction. Allow it to start to move you somewhere. Allow it to give you the insight into what do I want to express that I'm blocking. That is what it will do for you. It will give you the chance to locate the expression. It can help you. A lot of people see frustration as this thing to put them down. But it's definitely not. Frustration is something that's going to give you the avenue, avenue that you need to be in alignment. To express that what you want. To put your focus in the right place. And as focus does this for you, and as your frustration gives you that focus, you start to notice that when a woman is walking toward me, there's something inside me that wants to come out. And with that thing, I have two directions it can go. Towards the woman or down on the inside. That's really what you're left with. If you really want to come down to the bare bones of it, you're left with just those two. I can let it go this way or I can keep it like this. If I let it go this way, I am free. I feel better. I feel happy. There's an opportunity for me and this woman to go somewhere with this. If I keep it here, I become frustrated. More negativity comes in. I start to not feel like I'm not enough. I will never get results. Never, never, never get results. Let that sink in with you. You will never get results if you continuously allow your focus to be in the wrong place. Your focus when you see the woman is, I hope this woman doesn't reject me. I hope this woman likes me. I hope this woman is not mean.
Do you see how when you have that disempowering way of being, the thoughts that are going through you, that are hurting you in the moment, that nothing can happen? Something is happening, it's just not what you want. The moment I started to see girls come towards me and I started to express that which I wanted to express, it started to make a difference. It started to be different how girls would then respond. Things can now start to happen. You have to understand that your desire to have women in your life can't begin its forward motion, so to speak, or its evolution until you start expressing something. You want to look at it as, when I express something, something in my life can be different. Something in my life can go the way I want to. When I don't express myself, I cannot get the things I want. I cannot get the women I want. Expression of who you are, expression of a desire, expression of something that wants to come through you is the basis of which, at which a evolution will start, a journey will start. Right now, you're expressing frustration. But if you continue to express frustration, that's not leading you towards what you want. Let's express what it is that you want. Let's start to like piece together, okay, what is it that is stopping me? And how can I set up a situation for me to be able to have this happen for me? One of the things I tell guys on workshop is, what do you want right now? He goes, well, <clears throat> I want to have beautiful women in my life. And I go, great. And why are you not getting beautiful women in your life? And then he starts to go down a track and then I ask him a series of questions to get him to the core. And the moment I get him to that core thing, he can see it and he goes, oh my God, I can now move forward. I now know what I'm not expressing. I now know what I need to look at for me to express. You guys need to strip away and get to what do you need to express? What do you need to get to the core of so that you can step in front of that girl and say hello to her? Step in front of her and say, excuse me. From head to toe, you look amazing. What do you need to express inside of yourself for you to be able to do that? Is it just expressing that to her? Or is it just learning that I have to start expressing the softer part of me? I have to start expressing my sexuality. I have to start expressing something. But you need to get to the core of it. And as you get to the core of it, what you start to understand is that it's so much easier than I thought. I just had to strip away what, did, what it is that I want to express. All the way down to what it is I want to express. I let the frustration be where it is, but look at what's behind the frustration. And then go all the way to the core. And when you get to the core, be able to then move forward. Something that's gonna be able to just give you guys some leverage to go for it right, right now is my, you gotta forgive me because I've been stuttering today. I'm just on break from, from workshop today and I have to go out again tonight. So you guys have to forgive me because I've been stuttering. I'm just, I just wanna put this video out for you guys. But what I want you to do is that I want you to go to the description box. Click the link. This link is something that's free and it's full of two hours of how to meet a girl from approach to the bedroom. Every step in between from the texting to the date and I'm giving it to you for free because I understand that you guys want women in your life. And until next time, I see you guys because I gotta go coach some guys and help their lives become better with women. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new, and it's also something new that I wanna give you. I've created a video series which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon the approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you wanna say, and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home, and along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues.
I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.